beautiful friends, welcome back to another video. I hope you are doing very well. For today's video, as you will be able to tell by the title, I am showing you everything that I eat in a week as a vegan. The catch with today's video is that at the beginning of this week, our oven broke. So this whole video is everything I ate in a week as a vegan without an oven. And hopefully this video can just inspire you, show you what type of food that I like to eat throughout the week and yeah encourage you to get creative in the kitchen if there are any meals in this video that you want a full recipe for make sure to let me know down in the comments below and yeah let's get into the video i hope you enjoy okay so we are starting our what i eat in a week on monday of course and to start the day on monday the sun was absolutely shining and i was feeling like something very fresh so i started my morning with a couple of oranges and i just cut them up uh, into quarters and then i enjoyed them with a big glass of water and that is what i had for breakfast on monday morning a beautiful way to start the week then at 11 a.m i started getting hungry so i made myself two pieces of toast with vegan cream cheese as well as avocado then I fried up some chickpea tempeh, which I served with it, as well as some cherry tomatoes, which I fried up in some garlic and some oil. I topped it with salt and with pepper. And that was my uh, brunch for the day, I suppose. Then at 5 p.m., this is when our oven broke for the week. So we ended up ordering takeaway pizza, which was really delicious. For Tuesday, I started my day with making a smoothie, my classic peanut butter and cacao smoothie, which I have very often. This is a combination of frozen bananas, ice, soy milk, cacao powder, Amazonia vanilla protein powder, and peanut butter. It is really, really creamy and delicious, and I find it to be a really nice way to start the day. It keeps me feeling nice and full and nourished and it tastes good and everything is beautiful you know from there i then made myself a salad sandwich i feel like this is like one of the most underrated foods a salad sandwich it just always goes down so well on this one i had a large crunchy bread roll which i put some vegan butter on as well as cos lettuce and sliced tomato with some salt and some pepper and then i added on a quarter i think it was a quarter of an avocado to make it nice and creamy and this went down so well then that afternoon i tucked into some cookie dough as an afternoon snack again our oven broke so we had cookie dough uh, in the fridge for dinner that night this is oof this is one of my favorite things to eat at the moment we started by cooking up some broccolini and then i had some tempeh and cara my housemate had some vegan fish fillets and we served this with mashed potato and peas and barbecue sauce it is just such a hearty filling delicious meal and that is what i had to end the day moving on to wednesday and i started once again by having one of my favorite smoothies my favorite pb and cacao smoothies and with this i was also feeling something savory so i had some avocado on some sourdough toast some mornings you'll notice i am not super hungry and then other mornings i am really hungry as soon as i wake up so i like to make myself a big brekkie when i'm feeling that and today it was avo toast with a smoothie then I didn't eat until 1.30 p.m. and on this day I was shooting some recipes so I made a vegan mac and cheese. It is so delicious. I'm excited for you guys to get to try it. Yeah, it's so good. Then that afternoon I made myself an iced chocolate which is just maple syrup, cacao, water, ice and plant-based milk. Delicious. That night for dinner, I just made a really random bowl uh, of things that I was feeling and I was just using up stuff in the fridge. So in this bowl, I had some rice as well as some kale, tempeh, some peas and some corn, as well as some cherry tomatoes, which I grilled. And then I added on some avocado as well as some lemon and some seeds. And that was what my dinner was. It often is like that where I just put everything <laughs> that I, uh, everything that's appealing to me basically i put it into a bowl and that is that okay so 
Thursday. <laughs> this morning I was once again working on some recipes. So I made some gluten-free and vegan, of course, pancakes. And with this, I just had some lemon and some maple syrup on top. These were really delicious. I'm so excited. I feel like I've finally mastered the art of a good gluten-free and vegan pancake. And they were a really nice way to start the day. Then for lunch that day, I once again was feeling something nice and hearty. So I put some pasta on to boil and then I uh, cooked up some kale. Again, not in the oven because we still don't have an oven at this point. And in this bowl, I just put some tomato pre-made pasta sauce with some nooch, my kale and some sesame seeds. That afternoon to snack on, I just had some of these uh, bliss balls. I like eating bliss balls for a whole bunch of energy in uh, <laughs> a really convenient way, basically. This night for dinner, I went all out and I made nachos. These are the best nachos I have ever made. And if you watch my channel regularly, you will know that I eat a lot of nachos. These had a black bean mix as well as charred corn, a homemade queso sauce, some guacamole. Mm, they were so good. Friday morning, I once again started my day with a smoothie, but I mixed it up a bit this time. I had frozen bananas, some hazelnuts, coconut yogurt, cacao powder, almond milk, and ice. And then once again this morning, I woke up quite hungry. So I just had a couple of pieces of sourdough with Vegemite and vegan butter. And yeah, this was my breakfast this morning. Uh, as you might be able to tell, I really like having both sweet and savory in one meal and this really nailed it. From there, we are moving on to 11.30 a.m. and I am making some tacos. So to do this, I first of all started by making some guacamole. Guacamole is very easy. I just put avocado as well as lime or lemon and salt and pepper and mash it together. I then also fried up some chickpea tempeh and on my tortillas, I put some pineapple, my guacamole, the tempeh, and then I also added on some leftover cheesy sauce that I had from my mac and cheese. And then I put some spring onion and coriander on top. I know the pineapple's random. I just really like it. <laughs> okay, moving on from there and it is 3 p.m. And I made some iced chocolates for myself and Kara. So I just had some soy milk again with maple, cacao and water poured over. Really delicious and nice to have in the afternoon. This night we really couldn't be bothered cooking. So we ordered some takeout from a local vegan restaurant and we got, I got some wedges with some vegan sour cream, vegan sweet chili sour cream. And then I got some tomato and basil soup with some crunchy bread. To start Saturday, I actually started off by making some homemade chocolate oat milk. I'm thinking about sharing a video about how to make milk from home, how to make plant-based milk, obviously. So if you're interested in that, let me know if you want to see like almond or hazelnut or oat or whatever, but I would really like to share that video to make this milk. I started with oats as well as some dates, cocoa powder. I also added in some maple as well as some vanilla and then a whole bunch of water and I blended this together and I left it on to blend for quite a long time. Then I poured it through one of these which is a produce bag or a nut milk bag and as you can see I am just milking <laughs> all of the milk out of it and then I poured this into a jar to store it in the fridge and I went through this chocolate milk so quickly it was so so delicious i'm actually tempted to make more like right now yeah anyway once again i was feeling like sweet and also savory so i had a couple of pieces of toast with avocado as well as some homemade macadamia feta the juice of some lime and some salt and pepper and then i had a glass of chocolate oat milk with it and this was such a good way to start the day. Then at 12 p.m. I had a vegan double chocolate ice cream sandwich. I'm addicted to these things at the moment. They are so good. 
Moving on from there, at 2 p.m. I made myself some lunch and this was really, really easy. I just made a really simple fried rice. I learned on this day that fried rice is not my forte, but I am uh, definitely intrigued to learn more about how I can make fried rice better. So I just had some rice as well as peas and corn and I put some sesame through it. And then I also fried up some tempeh and I just had tempeh on top and it was yum. Uh, yeah <laughs> then that late afternoon i was feeling something sweet and i had a bunch of fruit left in my fridge so i just put some granola as well as coconut yogurt and yellow nectarine apple and passion fruit i put all this into a bowl and that was like my late afternoon snack slash early dinner but after i ate this I was still hungry so at 8 p.m. I made myself a late dinner. I just had some cherry tomatoes that I was frying up and then I cooked some gluten-free pasta. Then I poured over this like homemade carbonara sauce that's another recipe I've been working on and I mixed this all through and then I really really simply just served this in a bowl with the cherry tomatoes on top and yeah it was it was actually really delicious. Moving on to Sunday, our final day of the week, and I started once again with a peanut butter cacao smoothie. What would I do without my Vitamix? I have no idea. And I poured this up into a large jar, and this is how I started my day on Sunday and almost every other day of my life. <laughs> then at 10.30 a.m. I got quite hungry, so I made a chickpea scramble. Uh, chickpea scramble is a really, really, yum breakfast one of my favorites and i put some of my homemade macadamia feta on top as well as some lime juice and yeah this was a really nice brunch to have after i went for a walk in the sunshine from there at 1 pm i snacked on some vegan chocolate this is like the best vegan chocolate ever highly recommend and then at 5 p.m. this was the end of actually what I ate in a week and I made some uh, enchiladas. Yeah, they're enchiladas. I put some of the macadamia feta that I had and then I made a black bean mix with smoked paprika and I folded these as you can see and then I cooked these in some oil over the heat. This was a meal where I was basically using up what I had left in my fridge and in my pantry for that week. So yeah, I just cooked them until they were crispy on both sides and this was really delicious. I actually wanna work on making a recipe for something like this. It was so yum and a really, really nice way to end my week. Alrighty, my beautiful friends, that is everything that I ate in a week as a vegan. If you have any video requests, don't forget to let me know down in the comments below and I will see you very soon for another video. I hope you have a beautiful day. Bye.